There we go. Hello. We've gone. Three minutes late. <laughs> what's, what's three minutes? For my friends. Hello, everybody. Uh, good to see you. If you're regular. If you're regular. <laughs> that's so odd when I say it like that. <laughs> good to see you if you're not regular. Um, yeah. Well, about ten, 10 minutes ago, I said to you, we've just finished dinner, and I said, have you scheduled the chat? And you were like... No, I'd, you weren't even in the headspace. Had no think. concept of time. We've That's been. What we were doing. We still got fairly late um, sunlight. The days are still long, so we've been out. If you saw on Instagram, I put a picture on Instagram. We started repainting all of the windows here. We've got wooden windows throughout. A lot of them really need painting. So we've started. Yeah. We made the start rubbing down some windows so we were out there doing that till just before dinner anyway yes hello uh this is what we do on a sunday we come on and we share stuff with you we went to a yard sale in norwich now we went to the nr1 yard sale a few weeks back Did no, we... we went to the nr2 yard sorry sale. <laughs> a few weeks back and yesterday we went to the nr1 <laughs> that way around um and I'd kind of forgotten how, how good we did. I've just brought everything in from the hallway. And yeah, I'm really pleased at what I bought. I bought more than you this time. You did? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's the plan. We're going to share some stuff with you. And I'm really, really pleased with what we bought. Emma says, we have wooden windows. I feel your pain. <laughs> yeah, it's one of <laughs> buying a house of this age that is uh, a listed building. And in a preservation area, we have to be on top of all of that. Uh, it's a lot of work, but I don't know. It was it was relatively enjoyable what we did today. You know, yeah, well, the sun was shining. <laughs> sun was shining. <laughs> yes. Um, right. Should we scroll back and say a yeah, few hellos? Just going to say thank you, Nia. <laughs> oh yeah, we're kind of matching today. Mine's a not bit. morning. <laughs> Mine's yeah. the members of Depeche Mode. If you're wondering what these random names are. And if you're wondering what Nia, Nia means by A-H, that's Adam Hatton. <laughs> it's an Adam Hatton T-shirt. <clears throat> I'm still, yeah, full of stuff in my head. So, yes. sorry about um, that. For those that may, maybe haven't heard, we, we had what we're pretty sure was the new strain of COVID. Um, I was laid up for a couple of days. Then you were, you're still getting over the tail end of it. Yeah, I um, don't, don't think I've got it anymore. It's just, no, no, no. you know, it leaves you all kinds of stuff. It lingers. It? Yeah. Um, but yes, so quickly some hellos. Ooh, Steve was first. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Tina is in. And Laurie, hello in the USA. Uh, is it Sunday already? Well, I hope so, because yeah, I think I, I thought it was. It seemed by, isn't it? It seemed. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> good evening, Anne. Yes, we are. We are better than we were. Thank you. I hope everyone else is. Uh, Nia is with us. Once loved treasures. RS. We'll say a few more hellos and then we'll crack on. Secret Carper. Good to see you, mate. Uh, Mark is with us. Bromie Time Lord. Good evening. Then we have Andrea, Sean, Peter. We could go on, but we will never get through everything. So welcome, everybody. I will scroll down. Hi, Gadget Man. Chris is in. Hey, Chris. <clears throat> Scroll, scroll. Right, scroll, I think scroll, I'm scroll. at the end. Hello, Ian and Richard and Darren. Right. Where on earth do we start? Should we start with perhaps probably both of our favourite items? Do you think? No? <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading Chris's <laughs> comment. I just like, oh. What? Uh, so that, that's a joke, Andrea. Wood windows. Feel your pain. <laughs> feel your window pain. Right. So would this would I be right in saying this is probably both of our favourite thing we picked up? Yes. Um, this is gorgeous. I don't think we're keeping it, but what's this space? <laughs> well, I mean, it it is in keeping with our with our furniture, etc. <laughs> so we, you're thinking this is oak? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's oak. It's got these it's amazing got casters that are baker light. -like. Do you think that's baker light? -like? I'm pretty sure they're baker light. -like. They say what? Can you spin it around to it? There's there's a brand on uh, it. Oh, oh, I can't read it. Did <laughs> you say? Is it Cressley? Cressley, yeah, Cressley, Gresley. I don't know. Anyway, don't know. how cool is that? So it's um, made in England. There's a little sticker under here 
yeah, have says, you got the picture of the sticker? Because somebody in the chat might recognize the logo. I'm not sure it's a logo of a company or whether it's just a, well, of the don't. time, a kind of genuine so, made in England. So we're product. thinking it's probably 30s, 40s. It's worn a little bit, but it does say, or did say, made in England with yeah. like a phoenix or something. Anyway. It says fifes. Does it? F no, it doesn't say fifes. Where does it say fifes? Well, on the wheel. Does it? I don't, I don't think it does. I've, I've... Fifes is a banana company. Does it say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just, yeah. I'm so gullible. anyway, we... I'm gullible tonight. We are going to use that and then probably say, <laughs> yeah. yeah, try it out. Uh, yeah, I think, I don't know. I might do. So we paid £10 for that. And I think if we did... Because it's the trouble is it's in lovely condition. I don't want to ruin it. So maybe we'll just sell it. I don't know. Why would we ruin it? I don't know. Something might get spilled on it. Or... We'll wipe it off. But £10, what a bargain. That's the price they said. And we went, oh, go on then. Yes, please. I think if we sold that on, we'd probably pitch it somewhere around 50 we were thinking. Um, I think more. More. I'm going to shoot for 95 95 It's gone up. <laughs> it's gone up. But yeah, that, so that's any, something. Does anybody in the chat sell furniture? And if so, what do you, what, what do you think that's worth? Because I, I looked... Gresley. I looked, yeah, Gresley. I thought it said 30s, Gresley. 30s, 40s. Yeah, I said Gresley. Oh, 40s, 50s. 40s, 50s. Okay, cool. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. Um, Jeff could ride on it. He would scratch the top of that to he bits. Would. I wouldn't put him on it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> this is what, this is the reason I can't have nice things. I'm thinking that would be perfect for standing motorbike. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no engine parts are coming in. No. Um, okay, so in contrast to that, another nice item. I Hello, Danny. What's a Vaporetto? I have sold a couple of these. I've not had this more modern model. I've had the sort of beige square older version. Um, I gave the guy a tenner for this. He marked it at 15. I didn't haggle. I said to him, Paul, oh, Vaporetto, is it working? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, you can have it for 10 before I'd even attempted to haggle. It's got 15 pounds on the sticker. Um, I said, that's fine. I'll take that. He said, it's working fine. They've moved house and they don't, don't have floors they can use this on. Um, so the two I had before, one was working and I think that sold for 50 or 60. And then the second one, the element had gone. So it wasn't building up a head of steam. So I parted that one out, and I think I made similar money just on the parts on the other one. Um, so either way, that's, that's 50, 60 quid back from a tenner as well. So that was nice. Shall I do the bulky stuff and get it out of the way? Might as well. Um, right at the end of the day, wasn't it? We went to a store, had a lovely chat with that guy. We bought all sorts of him, didn't we? Yeah. But the big bulky thing, was this right tap point then let's do a tap point first tell me what this is can, can you even see it i'm scared <laughs> it's heavy tap point on offer what on earth is this thing it's not a torture device well some might say it was <laughs> yeah that's a better angle it's one of them there's a there's a brand on it it is a Mon Minora. Um, Belinda says Zimmer frame. No. Steve says turbo trainer. Um, Andrea says bike third, uh, bike, no, bike thing. <laughs> I think that's meant to be. Um, home bike trainer, turbo trainer, bike trainer. Yeah. It's, a bike, it's, yes. it's a bike trainer. You, you, oh, uh. You, you rig your back wheel up onto that, and then you can sit there cycling away and training in your own home. Uh, I've had two of these before. Uh, one was a good sort of the brand, I think went for about 50, and one was a much lesser brand, went for about 30. Looking that one up, I think it'd be around the 50 pound mark. Again, and we, we well, paid- I thought you said 30. No, I think there was, there was one on, currently on 
at 50 by it now. Uh, there were some lower ones, but they were on auction. And oh, I'd, okay. I'd have shipping on this as well. Okay. So it won't be local collection. That's Hi, what, Sharon. That's where I'll start anyway. We may have to come down. Hey, Sharon. It's what the village cult uses for their victims. <laughs> Maybe. Um, oh, a pink front door says, I saw you yesterday at the trail, but was over the other, the other side of the road and lost you when I paid for an item. Oh, ah. okay. What a shame we could have said hello. <laughs> we saw... We see some people yesterday. Oh, we saw that chap that we saw before, the last one. Yeah. Can't remember his name, sorry. <laughs> you right there? Sorry, I'm running out. <laughs> Shall I do another bulky item? Yeah, go for that. Go for the bulk. Go for the bulk. This is lovely. And heavy. <laughs> right, I'm going to get, I'm going to see if I can whip it out. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, that smell. Oh, this is a Remington typewriter. It's so heavy. Not, not a Remington shaver. No, this is not a shaver. You'd struggle to shave with it. And it is, to be precise, a Miracle Tab Remington Quiet Writer. Some bits of paper behind the. Um... There are. The, the lady was saying somewhere Ooh, in it. Oh, I've car. just got that smell as well. Oh, that's what oh, she was looking for. Wow. Little warranty card. 1959. Nin wow. Right. So it was purchased and the warranty started in 1959. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, these are. Oh, I want to say 50 again. Why is everything I'm saying 50 quid? <laughs> I think I looked it up and it was there or thereabouts. That's kind of see and they've used these to test it. Mm. Maybe not. There's nothing written on them. It's just so paper. Just, oh, hang on. What's that? Nationwide parking control. Somebody was going to write a letter to complain about a parking ticket once, maybe. Anyway, we'll get that tested and get that gone. Um, this one I paid 10. Um, they wanted... Yeah, that's no, it's leather, isn't it? The le leather, leather case, yeah, I believe so. It just, just has that smell of being a child <laughs> when things were well made. Leather and, and lubricating oil. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> um, that wasn't quite where I was going. But, um, <laughs> but, you, but you've gone there anyway. But that sort of, yeah, that sort of childhood smell when things were made well and of good materials. and Yeah, it smells of age and quality. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, there are some of the bulky stuff I bought. Um, do you want to share some of your bits? Yeah. Well, this is probably one of my favourite finds. There's two things that I paid £5 for. Um so open yeah open that so there's that one and this little oh, this file is... drawer oh no hang on is it i thought it was a i didn't even look in it <laughs> it's a photo album two photo albums that's not a, an... i thought this was just going to be like a storage box but it turns out it's two photo albums you know this and has never been used i know i do know there's never been used so yeah two photo albums and the re the thing that caught my eye to begin with emma bridgewater that's what caught is, your eye it's emma bridgewater yeah absolutely pristine unused condition and i paid five pounds for the two belinda just so. bought one today one of oh. these emma oh. bridgewater thingy yeah. or that's a remington nice. I was trying to see if it said, it just says recipe box on the back. The other one doesn't have a sticker. But yeah, with Christmas coming up, that should be... Did I did I drift into my, into uh, OnlyFans world there with my comments? Um, you might have done, yes. Okay. But I try to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, see, crikey. With Nick whipping it out and Andrea showing her bits... Am I on the right channel? Unfortunately, yes, you are. 
see the double entendres get worse, I think. Um, Why do you got to have a laugh? Um, so, yeah, they, those were nice. Have you got any idea on completed some of those? What they I haven't like? actually looked those up yet. Okay. But it's I know that Carla's sold, I think, yeah, I think she sold at least the recipe box for, um, but used. So, mm. I don't know. Excuse me. Right. These, I like Oh, these. yes. These were not a yard sale find. <laughs> these were a charity <laughs> shop find after the yard sale. But um, we've got a set of three Corningware amber glass saucepans. And this one, as you can see, was £3.50. That one was £3. Um, but then as we were picking them up and we were bringing them up to the counter, he showed us this one, which is the bigger one. Yeah. Um, but he hadn't got it out on sale because of that, basically. Um so he showed us that and he so, said it will need some work so yeah. you can have that one for three quid. It was going to, I think they were going to get it cleaned up and probably put it out for a five or something. But he said, take it as it is for three quid. Yeah. And we said, done. Happy days. So lovely. Got a set of three. So we'd sell these individually then, right? I think so because the three. Yeah, I know. I did. Uh, yeah. So they will be sold individually. I just put in the listings, you know, we've got other yeah, ones yeah. in stock. Did you, um, did you look at prices on these now? No, not yet. I've sold the ones that say Vision on the side, on the handle before, but um, not that. So, I don't know. Actually, I did kind of briefly look it up in, in the store to show you, because you were like, is this worth paying that much for? Mm. And I showed you. So I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember exactly, but it was definitely worth paying that price for. All right. Um, you've got more bits that you found over here. Oh, that's oh a, yeah, that's a... this was from the same person we bought the table from. Um, you can't, this light does not do it justice. It's a lovely pink, it's, got a, it's a really nice sort of baby pink glass. Um, really pretty. And he was selling his mum's mum stuff or mother in law's, and um, so. It clearly came from the same house and that's probably i would say that's probably about 30s as well looking at the design of it what he do you think he showed you his big did i show you my big one <laughs> sorry i missed the question do you think that's about 1930s and it's just i i don't know i don't know how you would date something i'm, like I'm that. thinking it probably is but i don't know for sure i wouldn't have a clue but anyway i love it um, and he also had just a, gen, you know, generic flan, Pyrex flan dish. And they don't fetch huge amounts, but I thought it was worth picking it up as well. It was only a pound. Um, Ian did a boot sale Saturday to get rid of sticky items. Less yeah. is more. Hope you did well. Yeah. Um, we need to do some more of that. Andrea says, tried cooking with one of those pans, but terrified it would explode, so sold it. Oh, surely they're made to not explode. <laughs> well, you'd like to think so. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, I kind I'm of not planning to cook with them, so I'm just hoping somebody else wants to buy them. I'd be worried about dropping it. At least we've, oh. got, we've got metal pans. At least if you drop them, they just kind of oh. clang about. And we'd, we'd break these. Probably. Um, Lainey says, my mum had uh, the corning where... She also worked for Relates Charity Shop, but how funny. Oh, really? Ah. Huh. Okay. And then, what have we got in here? Oh, this, this was quite oh, yeah. early, wasn't it? We bought a whole set of this, didn't we? <clears throat> uh, it's Den B Arabesque. That's not marked. Um, but, um, yeah, they wanted £10 for a whole set. Um, there's there's loads of it. There's side plates as well. You then thought um, maybe we'd just pick up the plates, which would sell better. And then uh, um, we briefly looked at completed and thought it's actually worth just picking it all up. So, yeah, nice, uh, bold design. What, what sort of age is this then? Is this 60s? 70s, 70s you would think? we say? I, yeah. And I, there's a I teapot, right? There Te is a teapot, teapot but it's somewhere. buried somewhere. We might find it later. A load of cups and then the matching sauces. I guess it's under there, is it? Is that mm, no, no. Oh, is it? 
I thought this was just cups. Uh, that's, all just cups. that's all cups. Yeah, we might uncover it in a bit. Um, but so, yeah, we went away and had a little discussion and looked it up. And yeah. I thought, yeah, yeah. The lady kindly it's, said, it's well, I'll do work. just the plates for three quid for all the plates. And um, there's no <laughs> dinner plates, unfortunately. That's where the better money yeah, is, right? Absolutely. The dinner plates. Sadly, none of those. But she said, oh, you can just have the, the side plates for three quid a lot. So we were going to do that anyway, I think. Yes. And then you figured, actually, it's worth taking because <laughs> Because I had previously said, I mustn't buy any more cups and saucers because they really don't sell that well. Because, you know, in modern day, not many people drink out of cups and saucers. And I, I buy them because I like them and I, they're pretty. And then they just sit around. Mm. So um, I said, I mustn't buy any more cups and saucers. So what did I do? <laughs> I bought some cups and Almost saucers. Almost straight away, we bought a whole load. <laughs> Although we did sell oh, okay. a, a single cup and saucer last week, was it? We for did, twenty-five but it was very pounds. old. <laughs> right. It was like nineteen twenties. So we was, need old ones, it was do we? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, bringing it back to the modern world, I found some Duplo. Nothing unusual, but there yeah. are a couple of cool bits in here. Andrew, so it's classed as mid-century. Yes, I know. Seventies isn't really mid-century. Mid-century modern, I suppose, but. There's a cat and a dog. Tub of Duplo and a few interesting bits for two quid. I'll grab that all day long. Um, where am I? Oh, these are another nice. This is something to have on your radar. I have bought and sold these on and off many times. Um, the series is Puddle Lane. I think these are what, 80s? Let's have a look. Um, this one is dated MCMLXXXVI. What's that? 1986. Yes. Um, Puddle Lane. They go really well. Um, I was showing you, wasn't I? Somebody was selling a complete set of Puddle Lane books for £170, was it? Um, yes. Something crazy. Um, I just wanted to read out this comment. Is it? I'm trying to work out how to pronounce your name. Is it Nefalify? I'm going to go with that anyway. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I said, it's like deja vu. I saw all these things at the sale. Consider the, de the Denby and the Vaporetto. <laughs> but I've got no room for big stuff. That must be really weird. I know, it must like, be weird. I looked at that and thought, yeah. no. <laughs> yes, and we oh. come along and pick it all up. Thank you, Linda. Look at that. I'm going to screenshot that. Denby Arabesque made from 1963 to find designed by Jin Jill Pemberton. <laughs> um, so that's how many I bought. Um, I paid the lady a fiver. If I were to sell that as a bundle, you'd be looking at about 30 pounds maybe. I think I'd be better off perhaps doing it. Uh, I think these are reading levels. Um, yeah, stage one. I'd probably break it down into a couple of bundles like that. And there's one random orange one in there, which is stage three. But yeah, they are worth picking up. I mean, I've sold them in pairs before and they still go really well. So they were cool. What's this little box? Was it, wasn't this something for you? <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. What is that? It's um, lush stuff. Yeah, some, it's a bath bomb and some hand stuff. Somebody was gifted it and they, they didn't want it. and Oh. So you picked it up. Yes, it is. Well, it's new to me. Uh, it's It was a, a charity shop find, I think, this one. Oh, no, it Ooh. was a tip shop find. Oh, that was in yeah. the video. That was in the yeah. tip shop video. That smells really nice, actually. I'll probably start sneezing in a minute because I react to most strong smells. Yeah. So yeah, somebody, so, somebody was gifted a lush little gift set, didn't want it's, it. Yeah, you it's lovely it. when you find stuff like that, isn't it, for yourself? Um, I picked up for a pound a Panasonic uh, charger. I'm not sure. I haven't looked up what it goes to, whether it goes to a Lumix or, or what it is. I'm not sure. But I never have any trouble shifting this sort of thing. That's where you would slot your battery in, charge your battery, pop it back in your camera. Um, uh, Belinda says, I've got my listing removed when I sold last. 
Mm, well, I'm not planning to sell it. Yeah, that will be. I'm planning to use it. So. You'll, you'll keep that or give it to Ellen to use or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I picked up a, a couple of cassettes for 10 for each because I couldn't resist. There were two houses next to each other raising money for a charity. I can't remember the charity. And we, we looked and looked and I couldn't find anything to buy. I should have just donated anyway, but I, I kind of grabbed a few cassettes just to. So I was chatting to the guy about this, that and the other. And then basically I picked up a Buck Spheres and an ABBA cassette, which is somewhere, for 10 p each. Made a move, you know, just so I could yeah, give him Belinda some money. Yeah, Belinda says probably best to use it. Yeah, that was the plan anyway. I, well, as soon as I saw it, I love Lush. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm grabbing that. We've not tried <laughs> selling Lush stuff, have we, second hand? Oh, now this was a lovely find. This was, oh, I can't remember. We bought a couple of things. Oh, yeah, there was a, a sandwich tray, Pyrex sandwich tray. Um, right, tell me about this stuff. It then. is Fire King. I've not sold the um, peach before. I've sold the green. Um, oh, the green went we really got, well. Yeah, green went crazy. We got a lot of money for the green. This isn't quite as sought after. It's a bit more common. Um, but we, again, <laughs> we have some, some cups and saucers. That's not and a cup, surely. A cup. I just picked it up thinking it was going to be a cup. Is that a sugar that's, bowl? That's a cup. That's a sugar bowl. <laughs> I'm trying to get the, the name in the light so you can see, but it is in the middle there, so, Fire King. Right, yeah. do we actually know what we've got here? We've got some cake plates. We have got a very lovely bowl. Five cake plates. One um, sauce. Oh, oh six cake a, a plates. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Six cake plates. There's one there. Okay. We have a plate. <laughs> One um, plate? Yeah, I think there's just one plate. Oh, and this was the... Um, they were quite well organised, and they, they had these at most of the stalls, so you can just scan it to bring up a Google map. We had to but, keep on re-scanning it. <laughs> but, and this is why I can't wait till we have our app launched on both platforms, because we kept going into this blooming Google map thing to see the pins, and then randomly all the pins kept disappearing. And then, because I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't take a picture of that and take it with us and then scan it, we kept on having to find... So eventually, I just picked up one of these little leaflets and carried it with us. Anyway, how much did you pay for all this? That's a good question. I can't remember. Well, I thought you, they said five, but... That's what I had in my head. Mm. Probably the five, then. <laughs> we've still got to log all of this in our books, so we need to remember. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that was... So you don't know values on this stuff then? No, I haven't really been looking it up yet. Okie dokie. Um, Steve Blaney says, um, I have a few bits of that Fire King in my cupboard. Can't remember what they are. Don't open that cupboard often. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Bread and butter plate. Is that what it is? Okay. Shall I find the most random item of the day? Which was also the last item I bought, I think. If you like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Went to a stall at the end of the day. They were actually starting to pack up. And I was like, oh, are we too late? She said, no, come and have a look. There's some of it still out. And underneath the table was inflatable Scrabble. And I was having a laugh with them and saying, what of all the things to make an inflatable version of Scrabble? I was like, why? Why? And she said, I oh, know, we were given it and we did actually use it and it was a laugh, but we, you know. I was thinking if you were like camping or something and you didn't have a table, then that's how you do it, isn't it? <laughs> so I, we, like I said, we were having a laugh with the store holders and then I said, well, how much do you want for it? Because it's made me laugh and I love Scrabble. <laughs> Whether I want an inflatable one, I don't really. Um, so I gave her a couple of quid for it. Thought nothing of it. Got home, looked them up. Wow. What did I say? About 30 quid I'd probably go for. The people, some people are trying to get 50 quid for this used. Some people are trying to get 80. Was it 80 as well? Yeah. I don't think that's yeah, really that's likely. Not... If you look at completed, so I think that the real ceiling for these is probably sort of 25, 30. But anyway, yeah. You could play it in a swimming pool. Well, yes, you could. <laughs> <laughs> it has magnetic bits. So, you know. It has magnetic bits. 
Yes, I'm sure that's what it said. Yeah. Four magnetic racks, 100 magnetic tiles. I don't know if the actual board yeah. bit is magnetic. Yeah. Anyway. So, so you could you could sit in a hot tub and play it. I was surprised what people are selling those for. So we'll give it a go. I'm going to have to blow it up to check that it's oh, holding goodness. air. Well, then I can take the pictures as well. Mm. Ah, the things we do. Right. Oh, for some reason your little icon isn't coming up, but um, thank you for the comment. I hope you both feel better. I had flu last week and it wiped me out. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's wiped me out. I just it floored me, absolutely floored me. But I hope you're feeling better as well. Yeah, it was no fun. Um, I did my usual. You've seen these a thousand times. I do bundles of books. Tom Gates is one. I've just sold a Tom Gates bundle. Um, and I bought a massive bundles. Probably every Tom Gates book. I don't know, but... Um, oh, that's quite <laughs> nice, isn't it? Oh. Um, and other kids' books, they give they gave me a really good deal. That was when we bumped into um, Matty and his kids, yeah. Wasn't it? Belinda says she thinks she took a wrong turn, and then it's a very different channel. <laughs> Why, what, what now? Blow up Scrabble. Um, when I bought the With magnetic bits. <laughs> oh, ooh. Um, when I bought the Tom Gates and other kids' books, they said, oh, I've got a Tom Gates advent calendar over here you can have for a pound. So I said, fine. And it's a cool thing. All of these really cool. have a tiny book in. I imagine if your kid's into reading, which hopefully they are, because reading is so good for kids. And that every day you can have your own tiny Tom Gates book. I think it's such a cool idea. I did look at prices now, and they're not amazing, but it's the wrong time of year to be selling it. I'll stick this on at Christmas for a ten or something. I thought that was awesome. I don't think it'd be worth putting in with a bundle. I think I'd sell that on its own. Yeah, definitely. Never seen that. Totally brilliant advent calendar. That's what it says. I'm not. That's not my opinion. <laughs> Oh, let me show you this because I've got it next to me. So um, I was wait, waiting for you. I can't remember what you were looking at. But then I spotted this on the table. Susie, Susie Watson designs hand painted candles, five pounds. And I really wasn't properly looking. And then I thought, hang on, I recognize that name. And basically, I don't know if you've heard of her. But um, influencers like Zoe Sugg and um, Charlotte Jacklin, I've seen use them and have featured them in their videos, especially Zoe at Christmas. She usually has a Susie Watson candle going. Um, so, wow. yeah, they're all they're all wrapped apart from two on the top, which I guess they unwrapped to see what the designs were. <laughs> and they've never been used. <laughs> and they were five pounds. So... I thought to myself, well, I think this they probably got resale value because they're pretty bougie candles. <laughs> and, you know, like, like I say, influencers use them and stuff. Um, so I thought, well, if they're not worth reselling, then I've got some very nice candles to use. <laughs> but this I have the looked them up now, and mm. I reckon between 15 and 20, actually. So A candle? No, just for the, for the whole <laughs> lot. Um, that was the store where the guy had loads of CDs he was clearing out. And I got chatting to him about music and downloading and and the change in physical media. We got chatting about that. Yeah. And then I – oh, yeah, I was trying to find enough so it was a round figure. So I got up to a fiver's worth. And then you and then I did, and you bought those, and we paid him a tenner. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You mentioned this. Yeah, before. it's come up now. I can actually see it for some reason. <laughs> Wasn't coming up before. It was very weird. Daniel says, uh, be on the lookout. Terry Pratchett, unseen library edition. They can get around £40 a book. Mm. I don't think I've had one of those. Okay. I want to search that, see what they look like. Um, I wish we, yeah, people saying about um, these yard sale things being really good. Oh, sorry, Georgie. Yeah. That, um, Georgie says, 
<laughs> Georgie, as in Georgie. <laughs> uh, I would love to go to one. Well, start just create your own. The, the, these ones in Norwich, the ones around here, only happen because somebody says, I'm going to organise that. Uh, and one of the powerful things we've built into the app um, <clears throat> is making it a lot easier to do as well, as in build the, the build a map within a Google within a map that doesn't throw all your pins out like the blooming one did to us on Saturday. Yes. Um, quick update, because now people are going to say, what happens with, what's happening with the app? Android is there, Apple is on its way. Um, things are taking longer than we ever could have imagined. That's life, but it's all happening in yeah. good time. And should definitely be ready for next season. Yeah, there's no point in us rushing it out now because we've missed this season. So we're gonna we're gonna take our time. Uh, we've still got a whole bunch of people on the Android checking everything, trying it out, using it, abusing it. Now we don't have any issues to fix on there. Yeah, You've, we've got a Facebook group, haven't we? So if you yep. wanted to go and have a look, see what's going on. Um, there's a Facebook group. Is it just Thrift Map? I think it is. Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, go ahead and, and join that, and then you can stay in the loop, and then you get some updates and when the apple is ready and, and all of that. Um, but yes, work never stops on that. Uh, I'm still working on it most evenings. Uh, my business partner is working on it most evenings. We, it's not like anything ever stopped. We just underestimated how much time and effort we needed to dedicate to this. So it's taken a lot longer. Um, this made me laugh because we, we were yeah. um, chatting with friends. Um, we shared a couple of drinks with them the other night and we were talking about Doing playing one of those dinner party murder mystery games because they're really good and you dress up as a character and you stay in character all night. And I said, Oh, I see them when I'm out and about. So I saw one, so I picked it up. For, yeah. So this is from a neighbor. And funnily enough, we saw an, uh, another identical one to that on another stool, which was free. <laughs> I'd already paid for this one. Oh, well. It's fine. Oh, Woo Woo says, My mum was selling yesterday. I missed as a way, gutted. Ah. Oh. It wasn't identical to the second one. The second one had a cassette version. This is oh, a DVD. Oh, right. Okay. Number. Anyway, so we're probably going to end up playing this <laughs> with with some friends and neighbours. Yeah. Uh, um, so this was from the same um, girl that um, was selling the Fire King. Is that what and you paid for? I paid it? two pounds for that, actually. Um, yeah. I spotted that as I bought the Fire Fire King, and I said, oh, um, I'll, I'll take that as well. She goes, oh, it was nearly the end of the... No, it wasn't. Was it nearly, yeah, it was nearly right the, the end, end of the day. That. And she said, oh, I'll just have it for £2. So, yeah, I really like that design, actually. That is, it is, is it J.A.J.? It is, yeah. It stopped ticking. So, My clock stopped ticking. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's ticking again. Yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? So, right. <laughs> I think we coughed at the same time now. I bought an egg helter skelter for myself. I get through a lot of eggs. Um, I did have an egg chicken. A chicken to put your eggs in just wasn't really practical. But we're going to try an egg. Bulky for the side. We're going to try it? an egg helter skelter. But that's that's fun. Um, picked up. I've sold this exact set before in the same box. This is a set of pool balls. Um, yep, should be an easy sale. Uh, two pounds. Can't remember what I sold the last ones for, but they go pretty well. And a nice, I think, rather handsome vintage. What would you say? Sixties clock, fifties clock. Sixties. I'd You'd say sixties. Yeah. What's the brand on it? It's a Smiths, and it's and it's ticking. It's a little bit faded, <laughs> but I kind of like that. Belinda says, why would you want your eggs to slide down a helter skelter? <laughs> Do I need a reason? Why not? Oh, Tina's doing a charity murder mystery in October. Cool. Oh, are you doing the murdering? <laughs> now that would be telling, wouldn't it? <clears throat> it would. Oh, it would. and this, the chat we bought the cycle train off. We also bought <laughs> all the jokes tonight. Steve says it's safer than putting them in one basket. It is. 
Exactly. <laughs> Don't put your eggs in one basket. This rather dishevelled, uh, it's meant to look like that, uh, pirate ship is a Playmobil pirate ship. This isn't the, the biggest one they do, which can sell for 50 plus, I think, but this one should be around the 30 quid mark. Uh, that was a pound. 30 again. Um, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere in there. David says, if you decide the egg helter skelter isn't for you, let me know. We need one for our eggs, as the chickens are laying enough to take up our kitchen space. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. See if, uh, see if it's helpful and useful. I can't open my. Oh, oh, oh! Treasure. <laughs> treasure. There's, there's a load of Playmobil weapons, and oh, there's a little. Uh, what do you call it? A little navigating device. I can't remember what they call them. Sexton, is it? What's that? Not a clue. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I think I need to have a big session of sorting out playing the boat. I've got loads and loads and loads of figures. Pretty sure I've got some pirates. So if I can make up a nice little scene with a bunch of pirates and the ship, that will help that sell. But for a pound, I mean, come on, look at that. Bargain that was. Um, I have some CDs here, but I don't think there's anything special, was it? Oh, PS3 Minecraft, uh, still a market for that. Uh, yeah, there's nothing great in here. This was nice though, because uh, it's sealed. It's a five. They they do a lot of these reissued um, album packs from famous artists and bands. So it's, Five Scott Walker albums sealed. Yeah, mm. that was so well. I didn't buy a whole lot of media, really, did I? I don't know what's in those boxes down there. And oh. says how well the egg helter skelter works depends on the size of the eggs. Does it? Well, I suppose if they're a bit big, they won't roll down. I will report back to you next week with... Um, how I get on with egg helter skelter in. Oh yeah, they got to quickly show you a massive bundle of um, Happy Land. Look at that. There's not many figures in here, but again, I think I've got a, a bundle that I need to get onto with loads of figures. Or, or did I sell that? I don't know. Anyway, five quid for everything. That's a massive bundle, easy sale. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah. A Peppa Pig bundle. I haven't bought and sold Peppa Pig for ages. Um, I only went for it because there's lots of the figures. He's not a pig. Is that, is that a dog? I think that might be a dog. There's a whole bunch of figures, most of which she packed away in the house. This opens out. All the figures are in there. There's a van and a car and loads and loads of figures. Pay five pounds a lot. Okay. Oh, this could be the most expensive item of the day to resell. This one. This is a silver. That's the brand sewing machine. I couldn't find this exact model on completed, but certain silver ones were going really high, like a hundred plus. I don't know if this is on that sort of level. But it's a rather nice thing. So I'm going to get that tested and listed quick. It's got its foot pedal, which is important. Um, looks in pristine condition, doesn't it? Look at that. You can't, you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I paid five pounds for that. I mean, that's crazy. Just, I, could, I could just put the foot pedal on. Um, certain foot pedals go for really good money just on their own. Wouldn't be surprised if that would... Um, yeah, it's in beautiful condition, isn't it? Yeah, I've touched wood. Um, I'm not sure I've ever had big issues with a sewing machine. Have I ever had a 40 one? I don't think so. I had a Husqvarna one once, that was fine. I've had all different models and makes. But looking at completed, I, like I said, I couldn't find that exact model. But certain Can silver ones were up in the hundreds. Yeah, uh, hang on. Um, Careful of the teapot, and I was also going to show it. Okay. Right, teapot. Yeah, 
So that is the arabesque teapot that we got, which is really nice. It's got a hole in the lid. Very nice. It's too much steam now. Funky monkey. Uh, let's it up. What's in here? Oh, thrifting for ourselves is <laughs> something we, we often do while we're out and about. We use these um, eco-living washing up brushes, and these are the replacement heads. Um, and a woman had five of them out on her stall, and she wanted a pound for all five. That's less than you'd pay for one yeah. in a shop. Yeah, and yes, it is a William Morris calendar. So we've got... <laughs> We've got enough of them to last probably the rest of the year and into next year now, which is good. <laughs> What's our treasure says? There was a scam about sewing machines. It was a bit of a stitch up. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, you like yeah, this. Yeah, this was cool. I what saw it. it. A Guess who I thought of when I saw that? Heather. Heather. <laughs> um, what does it say on the bottom? I don't it was know. foreign, wasn't it? Hungary. Made in Hungary, but I can't see what something design. Can you see what that says? Even with my glasses on, I can't see that. Oh, it anyway. says. No, I can't read it. Okay. Well, that's what it says. <laughs> uh, ca 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 Carolina. Yeah. And then it's marked. Is it marked? Yeah, KK on the bottom. Something Carolina designs. Made in. Hungary. I'm tempted to run a murder mystery weekend in mid Bedfordshire at the moment with all the politicians knocking on my door. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so we know nothing about that, but it, it's a really cool design. It's really funky. You know, um, we Thomas could, says, What's we... a musical sewing machine called? A singer. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, oh, that's a Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver. Mug. There's a market for them, even though I, oh. I find them very just yeah, plain and. Yeah, but people like them. People like them. That's very sort of Halloween y, isn't it? Dead handsome. <laughs> Could be. <coughs> Random. Oh, yeah, yeah. I liked it. It's, um, <coughs> it's Burston Strike School, Norfolk. And it is by a potter. And now I've got, I can't get the, the light to see actually what it says. Rob, Robin Welch. So, I, you know, it's local to us. And I just really like the design. I thought as it was signed on the bottom, then it was probably worth picking up. Thank you, so, Daniel. I appreciate that. I will have a look. And um, try and remember them. <laughs> Trouble is, you get to my age, and keeping new stuff in there is a bit tricky. Um, I paid a fiver for just as I got to this box with it, with a few bits of software in. The chap in front of me pulled out Black Ops Two. I was like, oh, because that's just shut up in value. But it's, that's how it is. You can't win them all. Um, but he left behind all of the Guitar Heroes, and at fifty p each. Um, as a bundle, that will fly out. I do have a Guitar Hero guitar. I don't know that it was... Was it an Xbox? I think it might have been a Wii, but anyway. Um, so I paid a fiver, including uh, an official Xbox controller. So that was an absolute bargain. Oh, Michelle says, Kovacs, Carolina design, perhaps? Possibly. I, I really couldn't read it. Yeah. Um, Oh, this is more of your... Yeah, it's so more of the Denby. Sources. Sources for the cups. Let's dig around in here. I think we're coming towards the end of it. Oh, this. I like this. Oh, hang on. Plate. We bought this um, with one of our nieces in mind. We're not sure whether it's going to go to little Roxy or Eden. We have so many young girl relatives. Not that it would have to go to a girl, but we don't have many we boys. Have... <laughs> oh, we do. We have Ronnie. There's, uh, there's Ronnie, but he's too small he's for a this. Bit too small, yeah. It's basically lots oh, of stuff. It's so cute. We're, they're so soft. 
lots of stuffed wood woodland creatures and then you shove them in in the tree oh there's a in the tree holes um. oh it's got a door with a velcro oh it's got blue tit in it <laughs> badger look at him this is oh. so much fun isn't it cool yeah. and the lady wanted three pounds which was absolute bargain i think for this yeah i think eden might like that eden yeah yeah, yeah. So has it got oh, a fox in that hole? We so, saw three foxes in Brighton, didn't we? We did. We had to go down to Brighton because Ellen, Ellen's moved house. So she's in a new student house with a different bunch of friends. She's, I think she's a lot happier now. In there. A lot happier. And we left there and it was already dark. And yeah, we saw three foxes between Ellen's house and so getting to the main One just room. outside her flats. Yeah. And, yeah. Urban foxes are everywhere down there. So there's no... Ah. If I put the blue tit in that hole, shut the door, every window has an animal. Yeah, that is super cool. What's the, what's the label? What does it say? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you bought a T-shirt. I bought two T-shirts. Two T-shirts. I haven't tried them on yet. You bought. Oh, your mushroom addiction carries on. Look, it's a it's a mushroom shirt. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I was trying to see if it had a brand, but oh, the puppet company. It's oh right, puppet company one. I mean, there's probably some good money to resell it in that, but I think we're going to gift yeah. it. But I think it would be a lovely gift. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought this was really cute, so I got a couple of. I've shown the mushroom one. I've got one that says flowers. It's um, yeah, it says small, but it actually is huge. We said to the woman, they, they both say small, and they're it's they look more small. like large at least. But you know, if it doesn't fit or I don't like it, or it's not very flattering, I'd probably stick it on vintage. Um, I grabbed this, this might be put away as a little uh gift for somebody. It's a Harry Potter bath bomb. One of the kids would enjoy that. Um, oh, oh, goodness me. That's all right, scary. didn't break anything. Didn't break anything on it. Oh, the very first thing we bought was a whole load of these um, oh, yeah. little Cosmos is the brand. They're like escape room games, uh, but in board game form. Um, and they looked interesting. Oh, yeah. The Sorry. Um, David what? just said that the animals are thinking puppets. Um, what? That Emily has them. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. This feels a little bit wrong. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> oh, that's, I love it even more now. Yeah. It's the fox Which one. would you know, explain it because it's made by the puppet company. I'm not sure the fox is meant to be with it then because he's not. It's, yeah, he's made by the puppet company. Is he? Yeah, because oh, yeah. the logo. Okay, so he is. That's cool. Anyway, I went for this because there's a whole load of them. I was look, They're not hardly worth bothering with on their own. But oh. if, you, if you did a couple together, you could probably ask a tenner plus shipping. Janet says, I think one of the tree figures fell on the floor when he picked it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I, I, they wanted two pounds each. Uh, they were happy to let them go for a tenner for everything. I may do two or three bundles out of it, um, but they should sell pretty well. Um, we may even yeah. play some. They'd, yeah. be, they'd be fun to play with, uh, with some friends. Yeah. But we, we've said for ages that we were going to do an escape room thing with Alison. So. Yeah, but a real escape room, that was. Yeah. Right, are we, are we done? Oh, I missed the game earlier. A band here I had to go with my guitar. I think so. It's just a being left in there. All right, do you want to... So there you go. Is, that it? Is there anything done? I don't really uh, just some more Tom Gates books. Oh, are you... Seen one, you've seen them all. So that was it. Oh, and there's oh. The, there's the Tempe Abba album. I'm David sick. says the fox is a puppet, but you have to put your fingers under his armpits. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<gasps> he knows. He knows stuff. Hang on. Oh, this is fiddly. Oh, Heavenly Boots thinks that exit games are on the way out. Oh, oh. oh well, that's. Oh, it might be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, you can. You can. You can do that. But I don't know. It, yeah, that kind of works. There you go. This was so me when Ellen was small. <laughs> Anything that you could pretend was alive. Beep, beep, beep. To be fair, you were doing that to me when um, when we first started going out. I used to pick up my soft toys. <laughs> pretend it was talking to me. Well, whatever works. <laughs> Right, I think that's it. You bought some books for yourself. What's that for for thing further down? That stuff. Um, that is, is that another book. No, it is some candles. Ooh. That I'm actually keeping. Books and candles. <laughs> books and candles. Yes. Right. How long have we been going? Almost exactly an hour. Yeah. So. Puppet show next weekend. Those puppets are super cute. Your new YouTube channel. You could make another puppet channel. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that's yeah. about the extent of my talent. So do, do, do. that's it. So as far as it goes. Thankfully, that's enough to amuse a very small child. Whew. Right. So I think we will slowly think about wrapping up. Um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I was really pleased with that haul. We were, you were trying to be a bit more selective. I was trying to go for higher return items, but less volume. Um, I think we achieved what we were going for with yeah. this with this lot. I think we did. Um, just got to get it all tested, cleaned, listed, and gone. Yes. Um, I did some packaging today because uh, sadly we had to go to a friend's funeral tomorrow. Um, which, yeah, don't need to say any more about that. Uh, it's going to be, it'll be lovely to catch up with Jeff and, and see different him, Jeff. but a horrible a situation. Different Jeff, different Jeff, Jeff. friend Jeff. Yes. Um, but yeah, horrible circumstances to see him. So we're doing that tomorrow. So I had to get all the shipping done. So we're going to drop that off first thing. I've got, a, I sold a portable toilet. Where did I share that? I shared that on TikTok, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Flipping toilets. Yes, as yes, I'm you, on TikTok. As you do. Um, so that's got to be dropped off at the courier as well. Um, so no video will be made tomorrow, but I'll try and get something out during the week. Yeah. Yeah. And also it's my birthday tomorrow, mm. which is, yeah, it's a bit sad to have to say goodbye to a friend on my birthday. But Yes, we had um, a bit of an early celebration on Saturday instead. Um, and some friends were really kind and, Made an effort, didn't they? Yeah, they sang to me. Well, the whole pub, well. The whole pub was singing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, um, yeah, delightful and mortifying all at the same time. <laughs> it was. We both went bright red. I didn't know where to put myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you. We'll probably do lady. something during the week as well, because the original plan was we were going to go to the coast tomorrow before all of this happened. Yeah. So we'll do, we'll go on a thrifting coastal trip at some point. Yeah. Um, I think next week is going to be super busy, but maybe, no, I've got friends coming the weekend. But, uh, um, yeah. I can quickly answer Chris's question. Mine says, Gahan and Fletcher and Gore and Wilder, which is the classic Depeche Mode lineup. Sadly, there's only two of them left. Um, Wilder, Alan, is not dead. Uh, sadly, we did lose Andy Fletcher. Um, there's only two permanent Depeche Mode members now. There are also some touring members, but they Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who's wishing me happy birthday. Thank you. So we normally end on some words of wisdom. So if you have any, chuck them in. We'll read some out, pick a favourite, and end on a positive is the idea. Um, yes. They can be innuendo-laden if you like. It's been the kind of theme of this evening. I don't know why. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, you're getting lots of lovely messages. Yeah, now. thank you, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, and Janet as well there. Um, <laughs> Sharon's just said, oh, no, I didn't know that it's Andrea's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> it's fine, Sharon. Don't worry. Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. You, <laughs> it's fine, you, Sharon. You don't may be appalled that she didn't know. <laughs> don't worry at all. <clears throat> um, lots of happy birthdays. Yeah, it was a shock. Um, it was the dreaded cancer came suddenly and yeah don't get us started yeah lots of <laughs> lots of wishes <laughs> are we setting you off yeah okay quick do some words of wisdom you're, you're setting this one off it's yeah. it's it's going to be a tough day i think tomorrow don't inflate your scrabble Oh, I'm missing, I'm missing them. Oh, I've already highlighted it. Yeah. Don't inflate. I'm going to have to inflate my Scrabble to see if it stays up. Thank you so much, everybody. It's lovely, lovely to have all those messages. Thank you. Right, Janet's in with one. Do you want to read that one? Yes. Don't think about gravity. It will always bring you down. <laughs> Love it. Uh, hello, Porkies. Good to see you. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's very true. Um, it's a lifelong process, <laughs> learning to truly know yourself and, and love yourself. It is exactly it's, that. It's not a always lifelong, easy. Lifelong process, lifelong lessons. Yeah, being comfortable in your own skin took me half of my life, you know, to just be at peace with me and accepting that. Yeah. that's it you know don't have to be yeah i don't even more think than... i'm really there 100 <laughs> percent, totally no it's not yeah. not easy um more happy birthday thank you pete good to see you um thank you belinda uh happy birthday thank you and you're getting lots of messages on there <laughs> lots love treasures if you're ever hang on if you're ever feeling down, stick your fingers in and give them a wiggle. <laughs> stick your fingers in a puppet? I'm thinking you mean with the puppets. <laughs> uh, Shall we try another puppet before going on there? The badge is my well, favourite. Well, you did say innuendos were, you know, welcome. So, um... <laughs> well, I'll translate that as meaning puppet, but you can stick your fingers where you like. <laughs> the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. And if you're heading in the right direction, all you've got to do is keep walking. I, I Someone told me that once a long time ago when I had a lot going on. I just needed to focus on the here and now. As long as you're doing things right and you're heading in the right direction, all you've got to do is keep going. <clears throat> and I use that. I remind myself of that daily, especially with projects as big as the app, which can be overwhelming. I've struggled a lot with that one. Yeah. Um, words of wisdom, birthday hugs for the lady with the jugs. <laughs> Love it. I didn't uh, buy any jugs this week. You didn't? Didn't. Disappointed. We, we even, I even looked at a jug and I thought it was really nice. You said, no, I'm trying to be picky. And you put the jug back. I did. Yeah. It wasn't in great condition. That's why. Ah. A satisfied customer is the best business strategy of all. Yeah. Indeed. Do you want to read that? Um, I lost my Scrabble set on the way home. I uh, People asked what what was the word on the street. <laughs> oh, dear, Jonathan. Uh, wiggle sound effects are optional. <laughs> Sharon's in with the less Fs you give. Might be children watching. Um, we've been doing innuendos all night. Uh, the happier you'll be. Yes, I um, subscribe to that. And it's been a work in progress for most of my life to not give so much of an F about things. Uh, try and worry less because it doesn't help. It doesn't. Uh, yes, I agree. It's not good for your health. <laughs> um, uh, Peter says, a different Peter, uh, 
Words of wisdom, tomorrow will be the same as today unless you do something now. Yeah. We want a Puppets <laughs> with Nick show on YouTube. I don't know that that's going to happen. I'm sorry to disappoint. Uh, Steve says, knowing yourself is overrated. I found my true self and he's a... <laughs> He's a something too. He's a lovely <laughs> chap, I'm too. sure. Um, oh, this will set you off. Don't read that one. Don't even look. You'll be gone. Yeah. Grief um, is the price we pay for love. Said by our wonderful Queen Elizabeth. I remember saying that when we lost Monty. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't say that and and not cry at the time. <laughs> Uh, um, okay, I think. Shall we pick one? Let me see if there's any more. That was wisdom from David. We are here for a good time, not a long time. Enjoy it. Like oh, that. Yes. Wow. We're watching. Um, we've got two episodes left. Um, if you've got Netflix, um, watch um, The Blue Zones. I think it's How to Live to 100, The Blue Zones or something. And it, it's um, a four-part documentary where... Um, he travels to different parts of the world and finds out why people are living to 100 plus in those certain areas and what, um, you know, it's not just about diet and it's, it's everything. No, and, it's really interesting. And, yeah, it's, yeah, just watch it because it's... As I was saying to you while we were it. watching it, the stuff they're coming out with, you kind of know makes sense, but just hearing it and seeing the proof in the numbers... The fascinating thing from that show, we're only halfway through it, but um, the series, is that there's these little pockets where life expectancy is massively greater than the rest of the world. Yeah. And they home in on it and they're just doing certain things. Anyway, yeah, fascinating. I just wanted to go back a little bit because there was a comment here which I just thought was interesting. It said, um, you seem to be shy, sensitive people, so it is not always easy relating to the herd. And that's a very what's the word um when somebody notices something what's the word i'm looking for it's um intuitive yeah no, uh, well, um, some, something like that um i'm no good thinking of the right words <laughs> but yeah it's yeah observant uh, yes very observant um because that is true and it isn't always easy funnily enough people <clears throat> and we, we would both say we're introverts I am I am more sort of to the middle of, of the kind of scale than I think you are, but I'm comfortable in my own space not doing social things. I I, I love people, but I find peopling <laughs> quite stressful. Um so I so I yeah, it's something I've had to learn to be because I'm a natural introvert and you're much more that way. Yeah. Right. And I, I I do get very socially anxious, so yes. Very, very observant. Right. Are there any more wows before we pick a wow? No, I'm sure. I in the it. midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Chris, don't be pleased with £100 off one sale. Better to have 100 sales of a pound for a peak business in the future. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Nick Berry and the Woodland Puppets. Is that his new band? <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, can you remember what happened last time when Nick played with a toy fox? Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, I did break Basil, but that was, that had a happy ending. <laughs> don't you don't you even dare go there. Look at your filthy mind. Oh my goodness. Uh, possible name for Nick's new channel that's not going to happen. Nick's Tat Cave astute. of Puppet Fun. Astute. Thank you. Ast oh, people are giving us the words. <laughs> people are shouting at the screen. Astute, oh, observant, astute. insightful. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> let's let's scroll back. Do you want to pick um, one as it's you know your birthday? Um, well. <laughs> No, I'm going to let you pick. Today. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so many good ones, I'm finding it hard to pick. I'm I'm going straight down the middle with David's. Um, yes. Because it relates. Yeah. It sadly relates to what what we're going to 
experience tomorrow at a friend's funeral and it relates to all of us and it should relate to every day that having that thought but it's not easy is it to remember how short we are here in reality okay um so thank you david for the we are here for a good time not a long time I was just reading C. Blaney's um, comment there. It says, I'll have to me message you on Insta based on the things you're both saying. Cryptic, but not deliberately so. <laughs> okay. What's that? This one here. Okay. Um, right. See, that that's an interesting one as well, Sandra. And, and people have kind of said that to me. That, oh, you're so confident. You're so this and that. But this here is our comfort zone. Remember, we've we've over many years, learned to be comfortable with this exact thing. Um, yeah. But if it was all sat in front of us in physical form. <laughs> that would it would scare them. Get out of our kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that would freak us out. Okay. Um, we are going to wrap up, I think. Uh, thank you for joining us ever as ever. Uh, we should be back next Sunday. Um, got nothing on, do we? Don't think so, no. No. no I'm so. off to play with my puppets. Um, we will see you. I'll try and get a video out or two during the week. Yeah. I'm getting back into the swing of things with that. I really lost my mojo for the whole thing for a while. Uh, but we're getting back on the horse. Are you going to put a visit video out this week? Um, I'm yeah, I will plan to do a haul um, of what you see now, but looking up prices and giving you some more information on it, right. and all of that. So, cool, yes. all righty. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thanks for your words of wisdom, thanks for your comments, and thanks for your patience because I know we were late as always at the beginning. We were only three minutes. Well, yes. <laughs> um, all right, have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday. Ta Bye, have a good week. <laughs>